But, uh, yeah. <laughs> that, that one's no bueno. Yeah. Take it to someone who does it all the time. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Alright, we got winners finals here. It's tilde uh, numbers. Oh, it check. is nope. Okay. It's just numbers. <laughs> Don't be like, come on, chase me. Don't what? you like the air? Well that's the value of playing against a character that does not mind the corner against a character who likes to extend combos via platforms. The only thing you're worried about, of course, is like if Tilde is able to set up into some sort of dare, mm -hmm. but that, uh, comboing any of your aerials into dare is something that doesn't necessarily happen. You have to find the ground first. Right. But it's okay. John can stay at the, at the corner. He loves everything about the corner. The corner of the stage, the corner pieces of a brownie. It's all good for him. Today I learned John's preferred brownie. <laughs> the corner. <laughs> the corner. <laughs> oh, trying to read the spot dodge there, but... Numbers end up giving up a roll. Lots of scrambles here, but those strong tilts on the part of Wii Fit are able to solidly anti-air. Tilde once again trying to space into the oh corner, and you are gone. You are gone. You're you're gone five ways from Sunday thanks to that sun salutation. That was a really good catch. Tilde does, in fact, is in fact known like many Falcos to use that phantasm as a means of like a like a super dash almost. Right. But the drop through back layer does take that second, uh, the first stock from numbers. And again, you're a combo oriented character. Percent leads me nothing. Right, let's look at that. Oh, yeah. God, only like 10% away. And, yep, you, 6 it's 6% away. away. It's even, like, effectively, right? Uh, it gives John some credit. He's up a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Instantly back to center. That frame. Again, frame zero, that reflector. Not even frame one. Right, frame zero. As soon as you press it. <laughs> You see, John was talking about giving every character frame one options. Give them all frame zero. Might as well just go the distance. Well, now hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's all right. Oh, that drag down there could have been huge, but the percent was a little bit high. The chase, though, from Tilde. Oh my god, this chase is insane. He's not letting John rest. Doesn't even have to have deep breathing on. And this is what you have to do against John numbers. You can't let him install. Unless he comes back from the death of. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to stop that one. Right. <laughs> But you have something even better, though. A lead means that all of these lasers matter a whole lot more on top of just being able to shut down the mid-range. Getting caught in the laser end lag, though, and the dash stack on that jump. Oh, oh my the gosh, volleyball the finish. Ball. Is it a soccer ball or a volleyball? It's a ball. It's a meta. It has to be a medicine True. ball at this point. <laughs> Look how heavy that thing is. We think it gets a concussion every time. Nah, fuck it. We ball. <laughs> we ball and medicine ball. ball. And that's coming from the, the NBA, NBA 2K streamer. Yeah, on my way to 2K <laughs> next week. <laughs> and John finding really solid punishes on some of, on the oh. reflectors. Did you get up? Oh my gosh, that forward tilt is so powerful. It's so good. It's so active. It's so strong. Gosh. <laughs> it's like exactly the move you want. And if it's almost like John built his entire game plan. Surprising no one, John built his entire game plan around the ledge. Yes. So it's so effective. Not only in his utility on it, but we fit's uh, abilities to punish multiple ledge getups, whether it be with simple up airs or forward tilts in that case, down tilts to hit l l uh, late ledge hangs, forward tilt covering both sides. Like all of these ledge interactions, John has down to a T. And we fit has the means to appropriately cover with strong individual straight hits which are only boosted by that install. Right. I, I can't think of another player who just plays like that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 50% already. Yeah, it'll just be like that sometimes. John, please. <laughs> You're balling too hard. Oh, the f I think John was looking for the parry on that landing hit, which is a great means for a punish, but if you miss, the are, uh, you are open to some sort of foul up there. Tilde with the super early hit on that nair to try and find a foul up, but his combos right now are kind of... Kind of scrambled, kind of scrappy. Right. Oh my god. I think just being a little too aggressive there. Understanding that he wants to take that stock early, especially behind, but no, no, no. Down tilt into the forward air, looking for a, some oh. more offstage gameplay. Down air? No, not that setting up the down air. Expecting John to go for the ledge snap. Wow, that turnaround on the platform was so clean. And then the plat drop back air as well. Frame four back air, by the way. And no way Tilde was surviving that hit. No way. If folks are wondering at home why John just let uh, one of those sun salutations rip, it's, you know, he gets a little bit of percentage back. Yeah, 2% of time. 
It matters. Oh, yeah. Just like those lasers. Yeah, eventually all damage racks up. So, again, that forward tilt hitting both sides and the, the pop up reverse hit the back air to punish the forward air on oh shield. My John trying to do a combo of his own, but uh, Tilde answering right back, being like, no, no, I'm the combo character. That's the gamble you play, right? You're trying to cover neutral getup, but if you miss the one frame or, you, or you're or you a little bit too early, Tilde gets instantly an up tilt in the corner, which is the most dangerous place to get hit by an up tilt at yes. those percents. That shield damage, though, with that back air with deep breathing. Ugh. Numbers, please. Tilde air dodging to edge. Again, these percentages can swap together real quickly, especially when Tilde actually lands. Oh one my of god. This late shot into the forward air? That was cool. He missed the. I, for sure, he was looking for a back air, but the DI is on point here from Tilde. But okay. you're. No, yeah, no, no tackle. Literally zero chance you're attacking that. Okay, back at the ledge. I'm such a huge fan of John just like forcing Tilde to respect his space. Yeah, the hard DI in is not going to let you combo dare into dare there. Right, great parry there, but no follow-up. You know, I thought at the beginning when they, you know, revealed that parries were in this game, I thought that's what all high-level Smash was going to be. All parries, or at least revolve around all parries. Not so. It just depends on the matchup. Like, there's some things that you really need to parry, some things that are kind of superfluous to parry, and other things that are just irrelevant to parry. Like, it just kind of comes down to... It comes down to the game state and the character. Like, sometimes you don't really want to be parrying some fireballs. But it's always hype. But it is very cool. <laughs> <laughs> the rule of cool, guys. Parry everything. Yeah, right? Like, just... Like, double fair, the second one dragged out. Oh, my goodness. Very, very nice. 44% in that re in that regard. He's Did he burn his jump? Yeah. No, no, he didn't burn it yet. Oh my god, dangerous position. And he means to stop the header, but the, the miss! Yeah, he up dropped tilt. out! His up tilt on the wrong side, and Wii Fit's thin frame is gonna pay John dividends. The percent lead is no longer his here, Swiss. Gonna have to see if Tilde, if uh, Numbers can fight his way back into an on stage position, or if Tilde will close out another oh back air. It's close. Real close. That soccer ball almost really hurting him. Okay, oh my god. Missing that. No grab. Back a triple back, really hunting for wow. the jump here. But John is at 120. Finally, deep breathing in Salvo. Gonna live just a little bit longer. Back Tilde, air for me. Just back air. Back air for the kids. Do oh it. my goodness. Do it for your friends. Do Boom. it for your country. <laughs> your country needs your back air. <laughs> he's, he's really waiting it out. He's oh my gosh. Oh, looking for the drag no. on four tilt here. Will down tilt close out with this percentage? No. No way. Oh my gosh, barely missing the soccer ball. It's got <laughs> mad close to the down air, but too far. Oh. Will, how far will you go? Not far enough. Tilde heading back to ledge. Oh, yeah. Looking for that exact type of recovery from John Numbers. He's going to find that down air and bring us to a game number three. A super, super long advantage state held by Tilde. But when you force Numbers far enough, he has to recover from this low angle. And that's free real estate. Look at that. The game was so happy, he even got confetti. Woo! Woo! Good job. Jazz you spiked hands. John numbers. <laughs> Not a lot of players can do that. It's always a very difficult thing, because if you miss, John will double spike you. Yeah, it's, our, it's a hard turnaround, but Falco Dare is just so, it's so potent there. It's been doing it for, like, two decades. Like, where, what year are we in? <laughs> we, <laughs> yeah, two decades. <laughs> Smash came out in, like, God, 2001? Uh, I mean, Melee. Melee yeah, came Melee out in 2001. Jesus. I played that in middle... I played that in elementary school, I'm middle kidding. school. I I have invested. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having an existential crisis. Don't mind me. Oh, oh look. <laughs> I, I could have learned four languages in the time that I put Ooh. into Smash Brothers Melee. But you're not learning anything by the time Tilde's going to get done with numbers in this quick regard, but... Once again, the evolving ledge position. Great parry on numbers this part. Looking for sour spot there. Like exactly that oh landing. Oh my gosh. But John, John misses the parry. Getting caught off guard actually, even looking at the camera being like, what happened? Looks like he went for header the second uh, this second time over. Because right. he parried because he parried the first down air, but I don't know if he was looking for a parry or that or some kind, but yeah. <laughs> he's not upset. Cool. He is very upset by that. You see, here's the thing about John. He's never upset at his opponent. He's always upset at himself for not being better. Because yeah. he strives for perfection in any game he plays. 
it's it's a good mindset to have. It's like, why did I let that happen? I could have performed better. Yeah. Uh, nothing you can do about that 42%, though. All true. Oh, yes. Okay. Still not dead. Goodness. And deep breathing's gone, too. So unless you found exactly that back air. Oh. Not happening not yet. Some great shield positioning there from Tilde. Definitely allowed that out. Wrong way on the on the reflector though. But at 150, Tilde is just chilling, but not slowing down the gas. Wow. Oh. oh my god, up two stocks against John Numbers. And with Rage, you know, we could see another early stock. The force off the plat of it. Oh, oh my god, we take that? it? I swore there and was he, the red sparks it, there. It did. We can go back and check, but it totally was. Sometimes you can just tech it. Because you I can explain that a little bit later, but <laughs> yes, please. We'll, we're going to see num uh, a tilde with max rage. Just looking to try and find an up tilt, try and find a drag down there. Oh, no, the re-grab. Okay, never mind. He's back. Does okay. deep breathing reset the grab counter? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. How do you regrab? But it's just not worth challenging sometimes. Fair. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay. Till they start off something. I was, expecting that, combos. I was expecting that dare to lead into like a second dare or something, but a lot of times Numbers has been able to get away with minimal damage on some of these follow-ups. Like so, like an up tilt at 50, you would think, oh, that's like an up, a couple up airs. Not so here. Numbers still holding on at 65, and deep breathing can sometimes be some something real dangerous. I think what John has been doing wrong here is he has been misfacing his up tilt. Yeah. Oh, and there it is. I thought that was a fist bump. No, he just dropped his controller. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. I was like, huh? No, 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 yeah. but still, what a set. Yeah, very, very solid stuff on on everyone's part there, but it felt like Numbers was just getting outvalued in that game three. A lot of early hits that were able to convert into back airs. Tilde cutting his combo short as well. Yeah, we can see here. We're going to see. Well, just so nice. The force off the platform with the reflect into a massive, massive follow up. It was, yeah. I know this is just the the final stock. Right? Yeah. No, no, no. It it didn't show up, but there were many moments where John was trying to get in and space with like that up tilt, but right. he would answer right back with his own up tilt, and because it has more range, it caught John while his just completely whipped. And I don't think he was ready for that. So, you know, lesson learned. Obviously, we'll most likely see John Numbers in grand finals, and uh, he'll get the run back against yeah, he Tilde. Will be, he will be